So let's write 12.5% as a decimal and then as a fraction. So first off, 12.5%, this percentage sign right here, you can consider that just to be over 100. So we would say 12.5 over 100, and then we just get rid of the percentage sign. So we're getting close. Now we can change this to a decimal. So we go over one, two places here, and then over here we go one, two places. So we have 0.125 over one, which is just 0 0.125. That's our decimal. 12.5% equals a decimal 0 0.125. Now, if we want to get this to a fraction, we could just put it over one, and that's a pretty good start. But we need to get rid of the decimal. So we need to multiply this by something to get a whole number. If we multiply by 10, we get 1.25. 100 gives us 12.5. And then 1,000, that'll give us 125. So we want to multiply this by 1,000. We can't just multiply the numerator by 1,000. We also need to multiply the denominator by 1,000. Because 1,000 over 1,000 is equal to 1. So we're going to change the way it's written, but we're not going to change the value. So let's go down here. 0 0.125 times 1,000, we said that's 125. And then 1 times 1,000, that is 1,000. But now we have whole numbers, so we can just simplify this. 5 would go into each of these, but 25, 25 goes into 125. 5 times 25 is 125, so 5 times. And 25 goes into 1,000 40 times. And what we end up with is 5 40th. But we can simplify that even further because 5 goes into itself once. 5 goes into 40. 8 times 5 is 40. So we end up with a fraction one eighth. So the answer to our question, 12.5% is 0 0.125 as a decimal or one eighth as a fraction. Lots of work. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.